Hi and welcome to uh, my punk rock cuisine. Today I will be showing you how to make some fermented green jalapeno hot sauce. So to start uh, the recipe for a hot sauce, I will be using two uh, mason jar that I uh, boil up for uh, precaution and safety. Will uh, also be used in the hot sauce some green uh, jalapeno peppers, some peeled garlic, and salt. Cutting them jalapenos. All right, so uh, to make a brine, I'm gonna be putting five tablespoons of salt into those size of mason jar. So once that uh, you have uh, your five tablespoon of salt in your jar, you put a bed of garlic in the bottom, like that. Don't need to count them, just put enough, like uh, about 12. You then uh, start filling up uh, with your peppers and you add your water, which you want to blend in. So you're going to mix it to make it dissolve right now before filling it up all the way. I'm going to explain why I don't want to fill it up all the way right right now. So uh, the reason why uh, you don't want to fill your uh, mason jar of uh, brine uh, to the top right at the beginning is because you want to put the right amount of peppers in there that you will be able to put on top a little shooter glass for alcohol so that it will make your peppers go under the liquid because for fermentation to get the best result you want all of your veggies to be under the brine so that the oxygen won't make the bad bacteria happen i will show you how i figured to do it in my process don't forget everything needs to be boiled so uh, i've put my shooter in the boiling pot so the trick is you want to put this one in here like that and when you're gonna fill it up with water it's just making sure that the peppers are not allowed to go on the top part and escape from the water so this is uh, the final process for right now as this is going to be put in uh, the dark for two weeks waiting and during the two week process you want to open it once every two days because it's gonna have some gas in there so uh, i'm gonna try to show if there's fermentation in the pot right here and there is bubbling which means carbonic gases that make that comes from good bacteria that make fermentation happening all right, so uh, our peppers have been uh, fermenting in the pots for about two weeks now. So I'm just going to have the peppers and the brine separated. The peppers are going to be going into this big pot. And uh, we will uh, make the magic of the sauce happen from there. All right, so uh, separating the brine from the peppers like so and having your peppers put it in the big pot all right so once that you have uh, your peppers and your brine separated and your peppers are in the pot we are gonna start to blend them and so uh, for here i don't have a blender i will be using uh, one of those zip zip machine and actually i don't understand why the pepper was already stuck in there but it blew everywhere Anyways, so let's start. This is a tedious project with this machine a little bit. So uh, I'm going to show you just a little bit of the start. And uh, just to show how to get your consistency to a sauce, show you that I'm adding a little bit of brine there to make a liquid. All right, uh, once that uh, your pepper mash looks like a uh, little bit like that, that's where you add about uh, one and a third cup of uh, white vinegar. 
You also want to be adding uh, the juice of one lemon. People like to use real lemon. <laughs> For my recipe, I will use the fake uh, lemon juice. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if it's a fake lemon juice, but it's already pressed. And uh, for this particular sauce, uh, I want to have it uh, runny without the pieces, so I will filter out all of the pulp of the peppers. This will be taking a little bit of time, but uh, it will work. And we will have a completely liquid sauce to go with. All right, so uh, what you want to do is you want to help your pepper mash to be filtered by pressing it onto the screen a little bit to get more of the juice out as possible but this is pretty much nice right now and when you're done like so you check on your liquid about the consistency that you want to get if you like it or not and if it's not thin or thick enough you can add some of this which I will not because I like it like so all right so this is good and so this is our uh, final product which uh, is pretty much uh, green uh, jalapeno Tabasco sauce style homemade I will have it in little bottles and uh, show you the last part of the video That should be our last scoop and that's it, green jalapeno sauce.